वन वेलकम बैक इन माई चैनल टूडे होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड वेल बिफोर आई स्टार्ट लेट मी विश ईच एंड एवरी वन हु इज वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो अ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर आई प्रे टू गॉड दैट दिस ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विल बी वेरी पीसफुल हेल्दी वेल्दी फॉर एवरी वन सो नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट सीरीज आई एम ब्रिंगिंग इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री and the topic it's already mentioned on the screen that is csdm 4.0 csdm is a tough to say it's a product tough to say it's a module tough to say it is a concept tough to say it is a exercise it is a i can say mixture of everything but we try to be understand that what exactly csdm and in the area of the csdm 4.0 <clears throat> so let's start the discussion let's start the understanding so welcome once again everybody in the series of let's understand csdm 4.0 common service data model from a functional consultant perspective on the day one that is csdm 4.0 overview so for this series i'm going to be take a base of this white paper which is easily available on the service now community you can go and check on the google you can get the direct link and you can download it there so our next series of the videos of series will be totally based on this particular white paper by seeing this video if you have any doubt any clarification please put in the comment section if you want to clarify anything which i am putting as wrong please don't hesitate to put in the comment section i am happy to accept my mistakes and try to be cover up or guide to be reply on that in the next upcoming videos before we start let's let's understand that what this series is going to be cover so in this series we are going to be see why the csd model is required and why the csdm is required what are the benefits what are the core concepts what are the core terminologies and how it has been come into the picture what is the history behind this and why it has been required again and how you and i can implement this in our day to day routine for our customer perspective so let's start this journey so today i'm going to be cover why we need the csdm model so csdm starts or has or stands for the common service data model one thing which is important it is not cmdb it is cs dm here the important word as highlighted is called the service it means in this particular concept service now try not try service now take service as a base and bifurcate the components according to the services the thing is that it represent a standard and a shared set of service related definition across products and platform let's try to understand in the simple and easy manner let's say i am a service provider i am a it department i am giving my services i am giving the laptops to it department itself i am giving laptops to finance i am giving laptops to hr i am giving laptops to legal as well now for the everybody i have to prepare the reports at the end of the day that how much is availability how much is cost how much is this how much is that if i do this exercise on the different different levels like for it one hr one legal one finance one it is going to be very cumbersome task me as a it support guy as a it support department to overcome this problem service now introduce this concept as a service service is one of the basic concept in the itl as well so from there they pick up the definition and they presented this concept here okay the main thing which says that shared set of services it means as a it department if i am selling or providing my services to the different different departments and it become shared for me everybody or everybody know that nowadays a shared resource concept is lot of into the picture it means one resource is presenting one resource is giving efforts or one re resource is working for multiple projects at a single point of time that is what the shared resources concept here okay the model the data model is a cmdb framework so one thing 
this is one and this is the another part so common service that again if i am giving services to different different department that is become a common and how to track how to store that services in my structure in my in my cmdb that is become the data model so it has a two concepts common services and the data model the way to store the way to structure in the in the in the any of the tool is called the is basically i can call as a data model so what service now say here the data model is cmdb framework means this data model representing my cmdb framework that how i can store these records who are helping me enabling me supporting me to provide the different strategies here it includes best practices as well it means whenever you are defining your data model you should think from the multiple perspective earlier it was the case so let's say i give a common example here let's say earlier it was a joint family okay and parents or the parents grand parents uncle and aunties are living together in a, a very big house it was a shared perspective but when their child their kids has grown up they started dividing the rooms as well no no you can share this room with your cousin of that particular uncle you can share this room with a particular cousin with this particular auntie as well this is what this concept come into the picture so it includes the best practices which is required for a proper data model as per my experience i'm saying if your data model is wrong then there is no use of doing the csgm here okay so what i get get from the from the internet as well one definition in a nutshell csgm is a framework so the question is it a product no it is a module i can say yes but 100% not that part it is a only for reporting no it is a framework like we have a itl as a best practice we have a agile as a methodology in the same work csgm as a framework for the cmdb data modeling the only concept which we have to be understand in the whole paper is that services data model that how best i should store or save my services in the service now here okay so now let me clarify because these are the question has been asked in the interview as well because when i say okay in service now incident it's a module it's an application create new is a module but what about sir what about the csgm cmdb it's an application it is a module yes even though csgm also available as a module but they did not call it as a process it is not the csgm is not a process or implementing guide it means that it doesn't <coughs> sorry it means it is not a set of process which you step 1 2 3 and done no it is a way to do something it is a set of reports no by clicking one button you get a report no code of install never you no need to be run any script for this to install no it is a automatic fix for the past implementation no if all the answer is no then what is csgm actually again in my in my experience as per as per the layman language it is a framework where you know i know and we know that how i can store my services in a data model so that it is easily available for everyone i remember one example if we are staying in a shared accommodation the landlord put one common fridge in the living room or in the kitchen and he put the water bottles for the same so it is a shared one he put these many water bottles so that everybody can use that part every morning one person will come he will fill all the water bottles and keep in the refrigerator now the next point which is bit there do i need to purchase module product to use no it is coming completely out of the box yes this is what we have to be understand very carefully it is completely out of the box there is nothing much you have to be do definitely yes licenses are required licenses will be there which we are not going to be discuss anywhere in the discussion but yes <clears throat> it is out of the box available so if you get a new pdi now 
will get the CSDM module available in that. But please don't be confused that I'm saying module. I'm referring to the application navigator, not this as a as a product. Now let's see understand the history. Because let let's say if I say nowadays metaverse nowadays crypto nowadays blockchain is very hot cake in the market is this mean that they are not exist in the in the market earlier they exist but now they are on the boom web 3.0 is in the boom 5g is in the boom now so in the same manner service now also has this product again i'm really sorry to, sorry to say but let's refer this as a product is available from the Kingston and now we are on the Tokyo release as part of time we are the Tokyo release so approximately seven or eight releases are there it is already exist but not widely used so you can say here in the Madrid they launched CSGM 1.0 even I don't know that it was it has been launched then in the New York they launched 2.0 with some enhancement and now in the Paris they release 3.0. Yes, 3.0. I read that document. I read that document and I know. And every time we all know that when service now launch any product, they bring a lot of enhancements. In the same manner, they bring a lot of enhancements here. And now, as per this document, Rome they have 4.0 has been released, and now it is almost stable, I can say, as per my understanding. It, there's no big changes are coming. Yes, few corrections, few updates, few modification, deletion is there, but not the big one is changes are coming at point of time. Now, how did we get there? Simply in 2017, because it started from Kingston. Okay, now this point says that why we need CSDM. That is very much important, even though I already clarified that why we need. The need is the reporting only if I am running a company and I want to know that how much I am earning how much I am spending the reporting is the only one way when I where I can go and check it and in this case what it, it is again standard lines and the actual business case has been put up by service now various business unit within the service now asked what tasks were defining service and identify how reporting could be improved the, the actual intention was how the reporting can be improved because there are the multiple business units ITSM, ITOM, ITBM are available, CSM, a lot of lot of other stakeholders are available. Then this says we don't have anything common to identify. Service management says okay I have these parameters to identify. ITBM say I have these parameters to identify. ITOM say I have these parameters to be identified but these three are using the same services. That time there was a no common model available. There's no proper model available. CMDB exists, yes, but that is from the infra, not from the service perspective. So to overcome that problem, they after identifying the need of common definition, the CSDM come into the picture. So this is the actual use case that why CSDM be there. I remember in one of my interview, it has been asked, what is the sole reason that CSGM come into the picture and the only sole reason is thus making the service report effective. Now let's come on the ServiceNow 4.0. In this series I'm not going to be discuss much on 3.1.0 or 2.0 here. We are mainly concentrating on the 4.0. Definitely yes, there's a lot of changes has been done by ServiceNow but if required I'll put some lights what is the difference between 3 or 4. We will discuss that part. So 4.0 is basically a data model standard that support CMDB and the foundation objects. If I want to implement or if you want to implement or if we want to be implement any of the model in service now, one and a common thing is important that is foundation data. Again, user group, location, department, business units, these are these all are the foundation data so service now introduce this as a separate domain in the 4.0 which was not which was part of the uh, model earlier but now it is a separate domain and becoming a base for everybody 
Don't get don't get confused. We will discuss this in the in the detail as well. Okay, and also this particular model is advanced and provide a support for the scalability, automation, and time to value the now platform. That how we are moving it, how we are improving it. Because ultimately, for every business, only one goal is that they want a spec. They want a proper reporting so that they can improve their processes. They can improve their application they can improve the support so in the 4.0 service now introduce a lot of good things number one they updated the model they introduce the new tables one for the business service and one for the sglc component including new new tables of the csdm new domains build foundation and sell consume this is expanded not the new it is it was earlier as well in 3.0 but they expanded to the portfolio location life cycle and product management has been introduced by service now in this particular 4.0 why you follow csgm now it is important for us to be discuss in a simple manner if you want to enhance the reporting number 2 if you want to manage your cmdb properly then you should follow the csgm someone said rightly have a balanced diet so that you can be healthy i was i was checking some reel on the instagram and one of the top most nutrition says don't make a rule that i am avoiding sugar or carbs or something else she says follow that but not up to the extreme level so this is what if you want to enhance your services you want to be enhance your data storage if you want to enhance your the the uh, i can say tables kind of things you can use the csd model okay and service now say it is a product are uh, standardizing their use of data most important is use of data because again let's okay let's say i have a party at my house i have four friends and we get five pizzas or three pizzas it is a shared pizza what i want at last that everybody should have a enough pizza slices so that they should not complain that your party was not good this is what use of data is important if you want to do that part we have to follow the csdm it is it is a stand that that standard is csdm model which identify what data should be managed and in which table it is another important point because as i say in the beginning it belong to the services and now we have to be store the services in a proper and a correct tables so that the exact relationship can be built up it's growing csgm is is growing maybe in the next release service now bring 5.0 and enhance a lot of things there so this is what i can say we have to be understand that why csga model is required let me come back here so hope you like the first video if you if you understand something if you get some knowledge please put on the comments i'll come back again with the next video very soon till then take care and bye bye